Hi, this is David with Best Rest Products, home of the Cycle Pump Tire Inflator that has a lifetime warranty. Today I'm going to talk to you about zip ties, what they can be used for, how to use them properly. You may think that that's a little bit too simple, but you can actually misuse them or use them in the wrong way. I'm going to show you some tricks that I've learned over the years and I'll explain the different applications. I have to say this about zip ties. Um, they've saved my bacon more than once on the trail. Putting things together, fixing things, uh, repairing things that needed to be repaired. So having zip ties is uh, a vital thing for any trip that you're going to take on two wheels. Usually when you find zip ties, you can buy them at a hardware store or a uh, home shopping center. And they're about a quarter inch wide and they're fairly inexpensive. I buy them in bundles of a thousand, but they're relatively lightweight. They're not really designed for rigorous uh, bonding of two items or holding things together. Uh, they might have a, a rating of 25 to 50 uh, pounds pulling strength before they fail. And you can get them in different sizes. These are small ones, four inch, and they might hold 15 to 20 pounds. You can get them in longer lengths, up to uh, about 15 inches on that. Um, but there's also other zip ties out there that we sell at Best Rest Products. They're called Moto Zips. And it's stuff that we've selected for motorcycle use. Um, for instance, this one is probably a 50 pound rating zip tie, but what's nice about it is that once you click it into place, it's got a small release tab and you can take it apart as many times as you want. So this is handy. I'll often use this to uh, hold something on the bike temporarily something that I want to remove quickly and easily. We also have removable zip ties that are heavier. This would be a 100-pound uh, uh, rating releasable zip tie that has a larger release trigger on it. You can hear that click. And then it's got a small lever on the side that you can push that releases the jaws from the, uh, the teeth here on the body of the zip tie. We have those in different lengths. This is a heavy duty zip tie that's rated to 120 pounds. It's a fixed zip tie, so once you put it on it's going to stay. The only way to remove it would be to cut it. But there is a trick that you can sometimes use with larger zip ties. You use a pen knife and you slide it underneath the jaw and push down the jaw as you pull the body apart so you can reuse them. Um, of course you want to be careful you don't cut your finger doing it. There's some other zip ties that I carry. I carry a bundle of assorted zip ties in my tank bag, so I always have different sizes available. I don't want to have to get in the saddle bag. I want to be able to just pull it out, zip something in place. Now we have the extra heavy duty, and these are, these are about the biggest and best you can get. They're about a half an inch wide, and they're rated to 250 pounds. So they'll hold a 250 pound load and really secure it to your bike. I've used this to hold on saddlebags that have been torn off on the trail uh, and also use it for other uh, severe applications. Once again these can be opened using a pen knife and prying down that locking jaw as you pull out the end and I can reuse that. These extra heavy duties come in different lengths and the longest one we have is this size right here which is 40 inches and this is the one that I use to strap on the saddlebag. Something about zip ties that a lot of people know but maybe some don't is that you can daisy chain these together. What I mean is you take one zip tie and hook it in place and you can make it longer by adding a third and you can do this pretty much indefinitely until you get something that really holds a large load. You could use this to strap down a duffel bag onto your bike if your bungee cords have failed or if your rock straps have failed. So when you're, when you're cinching down a zip tie, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. You know, the, the body of the zip tie has got little teeth in it and it's got a, on the main head, it's got a, a locking jaw that engages those in one direction only. Um, when you tighten a zip tie onto something, We'll zip tie these two wrenches together. When you tighten it down, a lot of people just pull it like that and they leave a lot of space between 
the body of what they're trying to hold together and the zip tie itself. So that's, that's a loose connection. But if you take that and you pull the zip tie tight around it, it'll get much tighter. Now that's pretty well secured. And the direction that you pull it is important too. Difficult to see, but the jaw is down on this side. It pivots and the jaw engages the teeth of the zip tie. If I pull it away from the jaw, I'm actually disengaging the jaw. I don't want to do that. Instead, what I want to do when I tighten it is I want to pull it towards that jaw so that it grips the teeth. And the best way to cinch up a zip tie is to take a pair of needle nose pliers and place it on the zip tie just where the head is and then using the pliers as kind of a roll or a fulcrum I can take and as I roll towards the jaw I'm pulling the zip tie through that jaw even further and I've gained about an eighth of an inch of extra teeth. I've stretched that zip tie really tight now and this thing is really secure. It is not going to come loose. If I keep stretching it too far I'll eventually break it, but you can see how flexible that plastic is. This is the way to cinch down a zip tie, roll it towards the jaw, which is closest to that hole. And you can use this technique on any type of zip tie, regardless of the size. In the case of a releasable zip tie, like the Moto Zip, the same principle applies. I put that on and I cinch it and I can still release this zip tie and use it again. All I have to do is press the lever and pull it open. So let's say I'm going to attach a zip tie to something that's got square corners like this piece of wood and I'm going to zip tie this in place and we'll use some off-the-shelf run-of-the-mill non-releasable zip ties that you would buy at a hardware store. If I cinch it down like that, it's really not very tight. It can move around. Zip ties work best if you move that locking head to a corner because as the body comes across and passes out through the locking mechanism, if you do it right, it'll come off straight and then you can cinch it up using your pliers. Once again the technique is I take the pliers and I roll it towards the locking jaw and I stretch that plastic and this is now really secure, really tight. It can't come off. When you trim zip ties you can use a pocket knife. I've probably got a few scars from slipping doing that but the best thing to do is use a pair of side cutters and cut them down square to the body as close as you can. And the reason I say that is when you cut these off, if you cut them at an angle, you leave a sharp corner. And I've also got scars from running my arm or my elbow or my leg across that sharp corner. Try to cut them square Otherwise, you end up with a little sharp knife point there that can get you when you least expect it. So that wrench is on there pretty much to stay until I decide to release it. The only way to release regular zip ties, of course, is to cut it. But if you want to stick it on with uh, releasables, you, you can use the large extra heavy duty or you can use the ones with the locking tabs that release. Now note that this one is just a little bit too short. It won't go all the way around. It doesn't engage the teeth. Well, that's all right. I put two of them together, and now I can reach around practically anything, and I only have to tighten the one that's on the corner. And once again, I roll it towards the jaw, and that cinches it up tight. I'll show you some applications on real life things 
Uh, we'll show you how to squeeze a tire down for tire mounting and we'll show you some other ideas. We'll be right back. Here's a practical application for zip ties um, on my jacket. Now this is a new jacket. It hasn't had this happen yet, but I've had others where uh, the jacket pull broke off and I've used a zip tie through the zipper uh, body and I've created an easy to reach zip tie. This is also true with uh, when you're wearing heavy gloves in the winter time and you're trying to reach these little plastic or uh, fabric tabs, just put a zip tie on there and now you can reach it very easily with a large gloved hand. Here's an application for zip ties that's used when you're changing tires. Um, one of the issues that people have on tire changes is this is the metal rim and this tire has to be squished down and go into the rim so that over on the far side here's my rim this tire can then move out and get over the edge of the bead or of the metal rim so the bead will clear and what a lot of people do over on this side when they're mounting it onto the rim is they don't get it squished down they forget that they have to make room by squishing it and moving it that way so what you can do is you can take a couple of heavy duty zip ties and cinch that tire up now this tire bead has gone from this wide to this wide and now when I put it onto the tire rim it will easily go into what's called the well and it will make room for this bead over on the side closest to the camera to drop over into the metal rim and have clearance. So that's a great application for this. You could do it with smaller zip ties, but you'll have to use a lot of them. On these extra heavy duties, this will cinch that tire down really, really well. You note that when you look at this, you can see how these zip ties have gone in between the blocks of tread pattern. Well, that's interesting. You can also use this to hold a tire onto the rim in the case you have a, a tubed or a tubeless tire that you can't inflate or the, the tube is damaged. You simply can't fix it any other way. You simply run the zip tie around the tire in between the knobs of the tire and around the rim so you're basically securing the tire to the rim with these heavy duty zip ties. You put four or five of these on a tire and you can ride this tire out from the top of the mountain down to where you can get repairs made. And I've seen this used and I've used this myself in some really difficult conditions. So having some of these long zip ties, these moto zips with a 250 pound rating is very, very helpful and it's great insurance to carry with you on the trail. You know, the applications for zip ties are pretty much endless. Um, you can see that I'm wearing a headband for my headlamp uh, to show you that I had to replace the band one time because the Velcro on the band failed. Uh, this is a pair of Steve's boots, my cameraman and riding buddy. He uh, had to wear these boots out on the trail somewhere and the sole came off. So he used a zip tie to hold the sole on until he could get home. And we also use some zip ties. They're not black ones, but uh, you can see them right here. He used it to hold the buckle in place because his buckle had snapped off. So the applications are pretty much endless. Um, I've used it for everything from holding headlights on to holding saddlebags in place. And after using so many of them, they're probably going to call me Mr. Zip Tie. But I'll, I'll be happy to be called Mr. Best Rest, the guy that sells moto zips to my fellow riders. This is David with Best Rest Products, home of the Cycle Pump Tire Inflator that has a lifetime warranty. Zip tie on!